Guys, today I'm going to tell you everything about the Windows 11 Wi-Fi settings. So let's start. The first thing you have to do is open up settings. To open up settings, you just have to go to the search bar right here or if you want to go, you can just open start and if you have it pinned here, you can do that or you can just type in settings right here. As you can see, settings has come up. Click enter or you can just open it. And here you can see the home screen of settings looks something like this. So in the sidebar, we have home, system, Bluetooth and devices, network and internet personalization and so on, right? So here you have network and internet. We have to click on that. And here you can see the first glimpse of it is uh, what Wi-Fi are you connected to and the properties of that Wi-Fi. And you can also see the frequency of which the Wi-Fi is connected to. So you have 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. So currently I'm connected to a 5 gigahertz network. With this network, you also have the data usage. So I have just connected to this Wi-Fi recently. So I have barely used anything right here. In the first line, you have the Wi-Fi option, right? You can just toggle it on or off right here. So if you click on it, so in the first line, again, you can see there is a Wi-Fi toggle here, right here. So you can click on and off on there easily. Below that, it will say whatever your Wi-Fi name is and then properties. Also, it will show you how it is connected and secured. So if it's connected but not secured, so like if it doesn't have a good password or if it is an open network, it will show right here. Let's click on this. In this, you can see the particular Wi-Fi properties. So whatever Wi-Fi you connected to, all the settings you can see right here. So here you can see there's a checkbox for connect automatically when in range. Other than that, you can set a network profile type. So it can be a public network, which is recommended in this case and a private network. So you can set that as well on private network. It will uh, usually include file sharing and stuff. So if you are not comfortable with that, just set it on public network and you will be fine. Here you also have an option for metered connection. You can just toggle that setting on and off from here as well. So what metered connection setting does is it will restrict your data usage. And so say if you are paying per GB for a network, it will just keep you in check. Again, random hardware addresses is also provided here. So it will help you uh, be more private. So you can just turn it on or off or change daily right here. Here you have an IP assignment. It is currently set on DHCP, which is automatic. You can just press edit right here and change it in the Dropbox. So now we'll keep it automatic. Similarly, you have DNS server assignment as well. If we click edit on that, we have an option to manually change it as well. Again, we'll keep this automatic as well. Under that, you have all the details of this Wi-Fi again, right? So you have the SSID, which means the name of the Wi-Fi you're currently connected to. You also have the protocol of the Wi-Fi. So we are connected to a Wi-Fi 5 network, as you can see right here. Other than that, 802.11.ac is its protocol and the security type, the manufacturer of that Wi-Fi, everything is given here. Other than that, you can see the network band is 5 gigahertz. Then you have IPv6, local addresses and so on and so forth. And if you want to see the Wi-Fi security key, so if you forgot on your Wi-Fi security key and you want to connect to your other device, you can just view it right here. You'll obviously have to put in your password and then you can see it. But if you want to uh, say connect or give it to a guest of yours, you can also view it that way. We have advanced Wi-Fi and network properties as well. So if we press on edit right here, we have the connect again, the same thing connect automatically. And then we have the security options as well. So it is kind of currently WPA to personal. So we'll let it be that way. So if we go back to the Wi-Fi settings, you can also see all the available networks right here. So if you click on that, you can see all the networks that are available near me. So in my proximity, currently, According to their range, obviously they are listed. So the one with the highest range will be on the top and followed by the rest. You also have an option to manage known network. So if you click on that, I can forget or edit all the Wi-Fi options right here. So again, so we are currently connected to this one. So say I want to go to this. I can also say change settings while I'm not connected to it. So let's go back and we can also very conveniently forget the networks we don't want or, uh, or are not useful to us from here. So that is very good. You can also sort them or you can filter them according to your needs. Then we have hardware properties. So let's click on that and you can see again, 
uh, settings and the same details that had come up earlier you can see them uh, here as well it will just show you all the hardware properties of the wi-fi you're currently connected to so this is through the main settings app but if you want to go to the shortcut you can just click on here you can see i have it in quick settings so if we expand quick settings right here we have all the connections right here i can also disconnect any network if i want to connect to any network i can just click on it i can uh, toggle connect automatically or not and i can just uh, connect uh, to a new network from here also if required i can just press on uh, more wi-fi settings and it will take me to the wi-fi settings that we went to originally through settings so that was all about wi-fi on windows 11 if you found it helpful drop a like share and subscribe